Hey, what up, y'all? Playing of the fake women here. I don't know if you know, but Candace Owens and Cardi B got into a little Instagram argument over voting and personal opinions over George Floyd. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Voting is against the law. Americans don't vote because the United States is not a government. It's a foreign company. So all you people that sit in here making big deals out of voting, don't say shit to me. I, Because when all those problems come from you participating in a political system that you don't understand, that you swear is killing you, that you swear is oppressing you, and then you turn around, then you turn around and become patriots and get all your young people to vote, it's ignorant. And this is mainly to my people. My people ain't supposed to be voting. My people are supposed to be building businesses, hiding their income, and being prepared for what's going to come in the future. But they're not going to do that because they all state dick lickers. And I don't give a fuck about a state. Black people don't even know what states are. They don't care what states are. Based on that, I got to let those black people die in Sodom and Gomorrah. Because states are fantasy Sodom and Gomorrahs. You understand? And everybody got their identity from a state. My identity don't come from no bullshit state. I've been told y'all, our parents have no right to name us, but they do have a right to go to a company, apply for a name, and then make their baby pretend to be that name and pretend that the state is a place based on that name and everything they invested in that baby. But anyway, I don't even care about that. Y'all motherfuckers vote. Look what Obama did. Look what Trump did. Biden and Kamala dancing to music trying to get the black vote. Y'all gonna give it to them too. It's ignorant. But at the end of the day, people don't support realness. That's why we the planet of the fakes. Because I'll just show you. But they got into an argument. Of course, I'm on Cardi B's side. What Candace Owens had to say about George Floyd. I didn't appreciate. And again, everybody claiming to be so smart. I asked y'all, what, six months ago? And this is just to YouTube, because I've been on Facebook teaching people what states and cities are for years. But I ask people on YouTube what states are. And you motherfuckers talking about all this other mystical dumb shit, penal glands and chakras and all this old dumb shit. But you don't even know what you living in. You don't know what you raising your kids in. And you don't even know what you letting kill you. That's why I'm like people ignorant and I don't stay with, I don't do anything around y'all. And I'll never trust none of y'all because at the end of the day, I know you'll snitch me out for the state. I know you'll snitch me out for the United States. That's why y'all ignore the fact that states are foreign companies, not American places. But y'all keep state dick licking. And when a president dropped the hammer on you, whoever it is, whether Biden or Trump, you're going to have to deal with that force, not me. But they got into an argument. I'm on Cardi's side. And also, a lot of people may not know Cardi says it. Candace Owen offered her a quarter million dollars to have a sit-down interview with her. And Cardi B denied it. She said no. So it goes to show you that Cardi B, she's not all of a sellout like people say she is. How many people would sit down with Candace Owen for 250 million? I mean 250,000. A lot of people would. You understand what I'm saying? I can name people that would sit down with her. And they don't care what she say because they all about the paper. And for somebody that always promotes getting money like Cardi B, I'm proud of her for not doing that interview with Candace. But let me let y'all get back to state dick licking and check out this video between Cardi and Candace. And Candace is still trying to provoke Cardi because she want to get a free sit down now. She don't want the 250000 She just want to provoke her and troll her until Cardi B have to address her. Cardi... Don't address Candace. She's nothing. She's nobody. Leave her to the culture. Because, you know, she's cute now and appealing to other races. But wait till she gets 40, 41, 42. There's nobody going to be interested in her. But she's married. You, you understand what I'm saying? She's married. But nobody's going to be interested in looking at her. It's going to be younger Candaces out there. With that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-eka.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of Face 2. We are the new umbrella. Planet 